Good morning. I am on my way to Albertsons to pick up some ingredients to make a dish that was requested by Mama Wanderlust. Emailed me and she wanted me to make King Ranch casserole, which I've made that before um, on my channel. It's been a long time since I've done that. So I'm going to go pick up the ingredients and cook it. And thank you, Mama Wonderless, for sending me the request. If y'all want me to make a recipe, email me at frugalrvgal at gmail.com. And I will try to cook your recipe. One small onion. Boy, those are big. Here's a half an onion. They play sound effects when their misters come on. <laughs> like it's raining. Starbucks, you're both here. Starbucks. Starbucks. I'm cutting up the veggies for the King Ranch chicken casserole. And it calls for bell pepper, an onion, and a, a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and an onion. And look at this bell pepper. Looks good, doesn't it? I cut into it. This has never happened to me. I cut into it. This is gross. So <laughs> it's molded on the inside. So, not having red pepper tonight. Anyway, that's going in the trash. So, also bought me a new cooking knife. Saw this on Amazon and I was like, I needed a new cooking knife because all the ones I have are just cheap cooking knives. So, this one slices tomatoes perfectly. Not even serrated. Isn't it cool? So, I'm gonna finish cutting up the onion and I got my charcoal started or it's starting. So, I will. I'm not gonna use this whole onion, it's pretty big. And one thing I'm gonna do to kick it up a notch, it doesn't call for it. But since we're in New Mexico, I'm going to add a little bit of 505 green chilies to it, just to spice it up a notch. I've got my Dutch oven out. You know how long it's been since I've cooked in my Dutch oven with all the fire bands and everything. It has been in the truck camper and finally we're at a beautiful place here in northern New Mexico. It's my front yard and there is no burn bin. We actually bought some firewood. Let's see if I can get this cooked before it starts raining. It rains almost every afternoon here but it's very enjoyable. So I got that's how I start my charcoal is on my Coleman stove. <laughs> Ingredients. Cooked chicken. I cooked this yesterday on the uh, grill. So I'm going to use that. And it's thigh meat. Corn tortillas. Diced tomatoes. Cream of chicken. Cream of mushroom. Bell peppers. Supposed to have green and red. And onion. Sour cream. And cheese. And then the spices. For the spices, I'm using cumin and some chili powder and some oregano. Alright, let's put the Dutch 
shove it on. I'm gonna heat that up. And then I'm gonna cook the onions and the bell peppers. So I added the peppers and onions to a large bowl. And now we combine the ingredients. Cream and chicken. What you doing, Sammy? Sammy saying, what you cooking, Mama? What you cooking? That's my fancy new can opener. Sour cream. Chicken broth. Sammy. Repeat. Switching it up a little bit. Because I have more tortillas and I have sauce. Oop. And you always end it with cheese. Let's bring a little piece of mozzarella. I've been having problems since I haven't cooked in months and months and months with the charcoal staying lit. That's why you see so much. Normally you wouldn't do this and it's just crumbling. So I am out of charcoal now so I get to buy a new but we're, we're good. It's all warmed up. I only had the chicken was already cooked so let's eat. Looks good. 